Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome back for another Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing video. This is the women's mixed clothing box. It's 25 items for $60 plus $5.99 shipping. So that means each item in the box cost me $2.60. I can't believe I totally have that all memorized now. It's because I've ordered so many Thread Up Rescue Boxes during quarantine. They've been really good for me. If you love unboxings, you're in the right place. I have an entire playlist of Thread Up unboxings and other mystery boxes. Let's dive into this box and see how I do this time. Okay, here's what this box is looking like. I see some like leather or pleather or something right on the top. I know, oh, something bright yellow. Eee, so fun, fun, fun. Yeah. Here we go, we're gonna dive right in. I've gotta pull out this leathery, pleathery item, whatever this is. Oh my gosh, I think these might be, these might be real. They are one, made in the USA, 100% genuine leather, dry clean only, Hugo Boscotti Milano. I'm not sure. To me, this looks like kind of vintage. Does anyone recognize that tag? In my haul videos, uh, if I do a little bit of research on the brand or a certain item and I learn comps or anything, I pop stuff up on the screen. So be sure to look for that. Um, these are really awesome. They're like a high rise skinny pair of women's leather pants. Now I do have a pair of leather pants that have been sitting in my Poshmark closet forever by the brand Trucker or Trucky or something. They haven't sold, so I haven't had a lot of success with leather pants. If you guys do, um, let me know. You know, I can put keywords in there like biker, I'll put vintage, skinny, high-rise leather pants, but I haven't had super luck selling leather pants. Looks like some sort of blazer. It feels like wool, which is nice. Ooh, this is really nice. Theory. I like selling Theory, and Theory, you guys, is extremely expensive, and they make like very simple but very fine quality um, like career wear, and I've done well with just the simple silk um, tank tops and stuff, but this is like a blazer, a woman's gray wool blazer. I'll let you know, um, it's so modern cut because it's cut really narrow. I'll let you know sizes and stuff because I do end up selling um, items that people fall in love with in my hauls to viewers, so feel free to look for my eBay store or Poshmark closet listed below in the description section. Oh my God, I forgot to do my intro again. This is like my new thing where I forget to do the intro and I'm like putting my intro in in the middle of the video. Let's start over, friends. Hi, I'm Quenby and I'm a part-time reseller. So I buy these Thread Up Rescue Boxes and I resell the stuff for profit on sites like eBay and Poshmark. I'm a full-time psychotherapist. I have another channel called The Grateful Therapist all about mental health. But this channel's really a lot of unboxings and hauls and information about how to sell online on eBay. I've been doing that for 10 years. So if you like that kind of content and you like having a great reselling community, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I think this is like a wool blazer. Oh, something new with tags. I love new with tags in a thread up box. Do you guys know all about how thread up boxes work? In case you're newer to the whole concept, they're called rescue boxes or reject boxes and they're DIY. So it's stuff that thread up um, didn't take on their consignment thrift store website, or they took it and it didn't sell or I don't know what, it's like anything can go in these boxes or it's damaged or something. So um, you can get all sorts of stuff in thread up boxes. This is new with tags max edition. I think this might be sold like at um, Macy's or something like that. Here's a tag, let's see what this says. Southern 12 and 12. Anyway, 
This is cool though because it's a wrap top and it's a true wrap. It's not a faux wrap. See the tie? So you actually wrap it around and tie. Now if you can get your hands on wrap dresses, not faux wrap where it's just overlapped, but where it has an actual tie that goes through one side and you tie it, a true wrap dress, those sell really well for me almost in any brand. I'm gonna adjust the camera. I am so trying to learn this new camera, friends, and it's like, hi, are you focused? This is so cute. I love the print on this. Look at this dress, super cute. I am starting to sell some dresses. So in almost all my videos, I've been saying, this dress is beautiful, but I can't sell dresses to save my life right now because it's a pandemic and no one's going anywhere and it's winter. But I've been selling some this past week or so. This is Bowden, which is a great brand. It's a catalog brand, Focus. Where's that little box of Focus? Focus. Bowden, and um, this is a US size eight regular. They put the Euro size on there too, friends, so be sure when you are doing, um, when you're listing it that you have the right size, that you've got the US size. Super cute. This is like a midi dress, so if it's not, a maxi's all the way. A midi dress comes to like mid calf or something. That should do okay. I'll let you know like what I think I might be able to sell things for it, but I just want to be totally transparent and tell you I might hold up this sweater, this awesome H&M shrug sweater and say, I'm going to try and get 25 bucks. Now that's what I'll list it for and that's maybe what I'll try, but I send out tons of offers. I take almost all offers. I'm kind of a quick flipper. I like to see things moving. So I'm going to shoot high, but I often take all, I sell a lot of stuff for 12, 15, 20 bucks. So this is an H&M size small, a short sweater like this is called a shrug. Usually women wear them like if they're going on a date or they're going to an event and they just need a little layer and they have a beautiful dress. A shrug is perfect. This feels awesome. This feels like Angora or cashmere or something. Oh, nice. So this is J. Crew. I think that's kind of an older J. Crew tag, but no big deal. Friends, I just want to take a moment and remind you to subscribe to the channel. If you're subscribed and you turn on the bell, then you get notifications that tell you when I go live. I do some pop-up lives and I do a live every Friday. I have tons of unboxings and we want you as part of our reselling community. We have an awesome group of resellers um, on the channel. So we'd love for you to join us. Please be sure to subscribe. Hit the button. Scribe, 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 scribe does not have a material tag, but it feels to me like a cashmere blend. It's a long cardigan. Have you noticed that in 2021, long, thinner cardigans with front pockets are super hot layering pieces? I'll have to look this over very carefully because it's a very thin, fine fabric, and my guess is maybe I'm going to find a little hole or something, but oh my gosh, if not, that'll be hard not to keep because that seems like such an awesome staple piece. Oh, I'm in my happy place doing a mystery box. I just, everyone always says on my videos like, oh, you have such a happy personality. I'm like, well, I'm opening a mystery box. Am I happy all the time? No. Well, how can you not be when you're opening a mystery box? It's just so much fun. This is cute. Laundry by Shelly Seagal. And um, this brand so does okay. It is a silky, like, career brow browse. Yeah. Would you like to wear this uh, career brows? I've been putting my bloopers at the end of the videos. I can't help myself because if you guys saw, I am like, my well, whole video could be a blooper. So I'm just putting them in there now. This is uh, white and black striped. Feels really silky and nice. Like that'd be a good thing to wear to work. This reminds me of that brand XCVI. Oh, this is Guess. The tag is clipped. Guess Jeans. This was such a hot brand like in the 90s and I feel like it has made kind of a comeback. Um, this has, now I don't know if I can sell these Nuid tags because I don't know what this store tag is from. This looks like, could be a thrift store, could be like a boutique store. I don't know what it is. So I'm not going to sell this. This might be a thrift store tag. This is not Nuid tag. This is linen. Linen sells great for me in the summer months. I'm so excited to pull out. Whatever this is, it cannot be bad. Wait till you guys see this. Look at this bright yellow brocade. See that fabric? You could put like brocade. Um, what is this thing? It's amazing. 
This is good brand. I haven't found this brand in a long time. Wowzer. This piece may be the piece that pays for the box. So I pay 60 bucks plus $5.99 shipping. And the items are $2.60 each. So I'm hoping that I can sell some of this stuff, make up the, co the cost of the box, and then some profit. This is decid... All right, how do you say this? My friend James Antique Boutique, he's probably going to let me know. Decidual or decigual? This is a very expensive brand. Memorize that tag. This is such an awesome piece. Like, this might be a try-on moment. This is like, oh no, is it going to be too small and embarrassing? But it, look at it with my yellow free people top. Oh my god, is that, is this super fun or what? I mean, I don't know. I will, if I do a little research before the video, I'll try and throw up some comps. Size 44 euro sizing, my guess is that's like a medium. That's awesome. Yeah! Thank you. Very thankful for thread up. Listen, not every mystery box is a home run. I get so many duds. If you look on my channel, you'll see I have a thousand million zillion unboxing videos and they're not all good. Like there are some mediocre boxes, some duds, some mind-blowing amazing you never know what you're gonna get you know so you just manage your expectations and i just keep buying oh this is so cute i don't know this brand so this is a long peasant dress maxi dress see this elasticing at the top it's called smocking and it's super cute this brand is love culture this might just be like a junior's brand i don't really know what it is love culture and if you if you've been watching my videos you may have noticed yes i finally got a manicure I am like so thankful for it because I'm in Northern California. We've had just, we've been in the purple zone. Everything's been shut down. Well, a couple weeks ago we got back outdoor. Dining is now open and the place where I get my nails done. So I've been doing these haul videos with like my at home nail situation, which is not good. So I just feel so thankful to have um, my nails done. Yeah more than you needed to know about that I bet going quick I love this box already <laughs> another a plus probably this is H&M super cute it's a blouse black and white stripe now would you call this a cold shoulder so cold shoulder was super popular what like 2019 2018 where there's a shoulder cutout I don't think it's as popular now um but this so it's a high neck and then it's like it's, it seems more than the shoulder, like it's an off shoulder. The whole thing is cut out. It's kind of like an off shoulder with a high neck. This I will put on my mannequin. There are certain items that need a mannequin. Are you, let me know in the comments, a mannequin or a non-mannequin reseller? I have gone, I did mannequin for like years and years and then I ditched it and was just doing a wooden hanger on a white wall. And then I started doing mannequin again, especially for dresses and certain things. Are you camp mannequin or no mannequin? Um, or what is this? What is, sometimes I get these things and I'm like, what is this and what is happening? I think it's a fitness top. And it has like this mesh, mesh back. Like it's like fishnet mesh. Let's see if we can find a tag. Looks like a good size. Unbranded stuff is just so hard to sell guys. Like you can, I can put it up there and sell some stuff on style if it's like a great bohemian lag and look piece, for example, but this has no tag. Now, the other thing I can look for real quick, if you, you have a fitness item, is I can see, is there a logo? Oh, now I've got it all twisted up. Oh, see, here we go. Oh, I love when I have a moment of like, that made sense. This is Fabletic, so that's awesome. So this is why it's so good to memorize and learn the logos. If you're watching this and you're newer to reselling and you're like, what sells good on Poshmark? What sells fast? What are the good brands? See this logo here, the little F in a gray box? That's Fabletics. I only know that because I sell a lot of fit fitness stuff and Fabletics sells really well for me in the like $15 to $20 range. And But this looks to be like an extra large or something. So if you learn those logos, you're going to go out thrifting and you're going to be like, this has no tag. In the fitness section, I always look for the logos and I found some great stuff that way. And Taylor Petite size 8 Petite women's blouse, kind of a pretty, I guess it's a chevron print, um, kind of a, a sheer career blouse or something. Career wear is not like a super hot item for me. I mean... 
normally, not during pandemic, blazers sell pretty well, but like those button down business shirts, do you guys do well with those? These are cute, but I don't know if they're very current style. The Limited, a nice mall brand that people know, size two, and I love when it says this like the Drew fit. It just makes listing so easy. These are a pair of like Bermuda length shorts. The thing I like about them is they've got a ribbon for the tie belt waist, but not sure if those are like super current style. I don't know this brand, a nice black top by Larson Gray. I've been selling for 10 years, friends, and there's still like so many brands I don't know. This is cute, my mom would probably love this, Grateful Babette. It's just like a, a tunicky type top. It's got, the back has got this lace panel. It's got a bunch of like linties and stuff on it. Like if you're gonna send things, if you want to sell to thread up, you know, it, it really does make sense for you to send in items that are clean, free of stains, folded nicely, you know, so that they can take it. If you want them to take your items, presentation is probably really important. Oh, I love this. I love this for myself, probably. This is Zara Collection, Woman Basic T-Shirts, but it's a star print. If one of you wants it, you might be able to convince me to sell it to you, but the reason I want this is because it's a linen t-shirt. I love linen. Yes, because I live in California and I'm a boho girl, um, but I just love linen. It's just like such a great fabric for a t-shirt. They get tons of little holes though. All my J. Jill white linen t-shirts have little holes. So I go like this up to the light and I look for holes. Star prints have been really popular too though. Novelty prints do really well. Ooh, this is, feels pretty. Well, this is so pretty. Adriana Papel, size US 16. So it's a plus size, but isn't, wait till I show you the print on this. It's just like so pretty. It reminds me of like Monet watercolors. See the beautiful turquoises and blues. This is so nice. And it's probably like a midi length dress. It has a bunch of um, like pleating here on the side. Um, you could almost call it ruching, so that's probably flattering for your midsection if you're a mama like me and you've got like a little belly or you're not a mama and you have a little belly or most of us have little, medium, big bellies. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying. This feels awesome, super stretchy, etc. etc. I don't think this is going to end up being a nice piece or anything, but super nice basic piece. It's just a cardigan, a stretchy black cardigan. Don't know anything that doesn't look like it's going to be an, oh, this feels so sweet. Polka dots. Do polka dots ever go out of style? There are certain things that just sell well for me, like polka dots, especially black and white polka dots. Sometimes I'll pick it up regardless of brand or linen. I'm going to pick up almost regardless of brand. It just sells well for me. There are certain things like that. Novelty prints with like animals with like little foxes or birds, that kind of stuff sells well. This is so cute. I don't know what this is. It's a flouncy top. Oh gosh, I love it. These are not my colors. Like I don't think I'm a lavender and white dot person, but it feels like genuine silk. And this is called a flounce. Do you see how, you see it a lot on dresses where there's like a top layer and then a bottom layer. But then the tag, does anyone, like where there's supposed to be a tag, there's just this piece of fishnet. Am I missing something? Does it like say something? This is so cute. I, I this, oh wait, there's a tag in here. Uh, art, made in Italy. Hmm, that just changed things. I bet it's real silk. It is. Well, 30% silk, 70 viscose. Art 8962. I might be able to do a little research on the tag. I really love when things say made in Italy or made in Spain or made or Euro sizing. That's often a sign that it's a good, you know I have to get this. That's often a sign that it's a good item. This is like fish netty and ivory, which you know I love and I just peeked and it's free people. I'm wearing a free people top now and I must have another million zillion bagillion jillion uh, free people hauls on my channel. It's my favorite brand. It sells great on Poshmark for me, especially. This is one of their million tags. Uh, the little bar that says free people. Now this is an extra small. So sad for me because I absolutely love it. It's a fully laced cardigan. 
a fully lace. I would put Free People cropped cardigan, crochet, lace, ivory. Um, it's got, oh, look at the details on this. This is why I love the brand so much, guys. See this lace netting and all this embroidery. Can I squeeze my curvy self into this top? Probably no. Someone's got to have that. Now, why didn't that up take that? Maybe I'll find a flaw on it when I put it under my lights. To be honest, sometimes I don't catch all the flaws. Or maybe they have so much stuff they don't even know what to do with themselves thread up right now. J. Crew size 12. That's awesome. J. Crew's been selling great for me. Just a consistent seller. And this is so J. Crew in my opinion because they're kind of a little preppy. A blue and white striped tank, but look at the ruffle detail. I definitely put ruffle in my title. And again, 2020, 2021, ruffles all over the place, which I don't mind one bit. I like a ruffle. Do you? Ooh, Echo, Echo. I think this is a good brand. Um, it looks good. I think it's good. This is so cute. It's just a another true wrap sweater. Like a thin, open knit, true wrap. It's gonna be kind of cropped. Okay, we have a, this much left. If you stayed with me till now, I really love you and appreciate you and thank you. I hope you love thread up boxes as much as I do. Oh, this is super cute. Oh good, I was talking about the wrap dress. This is, um, I don't know how you say it, a cote or something. This is sold at Urban Outfitters. Um, and this is really cute. It's a wrap dress with the cutest floral print. So this is what I mean. I know you guys probably know, but I'm just gonna, maybe there's a newer reseller and they're like, what the heck is she talking about? It's like a dress that opens all the way up and you put it on and then you wrap the tie all the way around and tie it. And in my title, I'll put true wrap because it's not, otherwise I put faux wrap. Super pretty print on that though, right? Look at those colors and stuff. That's just Gorge. I think Urban Outfitters is more like a younger people's. Ooh, something new would tag. Younger people, junior style. This feels awesome. And Taylor Silk. Extra small petite, new would tag. So yes, an extra small petite, that's going to be a hard sell for me. But what it has going for it is that it's silk, which sells really well for me in general. And um, it's new would tag. I'll put career in my title. Sometimes I'll put work, business. All right, and we are going to end strong with whatever this is. Topman Made in Britain. U.S. Anyone know it? I love finding a cool new tag like this. Topman Made in Britain. U.S. Medium. And this is cool. Feels super heavy knit. Almost like a thermal waffle knit in burgundy. A sweater. Anything wrong with this baby? I would say a solid A box. Nothing like blow my mind amazing. Well, actually that decidual or decigual, um, however you say it, that yellow jacket, amazing. Lots of great bread and butter, a free people crochet sweater. Very happy with this box. Can't go wrong for $2.60. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about this box? How are you doing with thread up stuff? And I'll see you guys. I love you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Maybe on one of my lives on Friday. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. I need music. Do, 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 do. Bye. All right, let's dive right in, friends. I'm afraid it's a little blurry. Is the camera blurry? Is it blurry now? Let me test and see. Friends, I just want to take a moment and, res and make this a blooper.